Kirby, can you talk about the um, fact that you scored 24 points in the first three quarters, but you also played great defense on Jimmy Butler. Can you just talk about both of those? I was just trying to be a, a little more aggressive um, on the offensive end. I knew my team needed me to do that. and. Um, just trying to pick my spots on both ends of the floor, trying to stay out of foul trouble, trying to eliminate um, letting Jimmy Butler get to the free throw line. And um, that was my, my goal this game, and I, I felt like I did a great job at it. Isaiah, Steve Bell, Pat Boston Herald. On one hand, I'm sure you're not happy with shooting one for 10 on threes. On the other hand, the fact that your team is now at a level where it can survive that and still get a win like this has to feel uh, satisfying. It is. Um, I remain confident in those guys. I know they, they're they're um, really good shooters, and we're not we're not too worried about the shooting percentage, especially myself. I, I've been getting good open looks. My teammates been giving me open. We just got to knock down the shots, and coach keeps saying, one game soon we're gonna knock down all our open shots that we're missing, and 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 it might be next game. So I'm happy about my teammates how they played, and they they picked up my slack. And, and the rebound you got in traffic there. How many games in your career have you ever kind of turned around with your rebounding prowess? I had to trip it over one time, so <laughs> I had about 10 of them things. Uh, Bob Schron, the citizen. Uh, Jimmy hit that three at the end of the third quarter. It put them ahead by two points. What was the difference in the fourth quarter? I think um, for us on the offensive end, it was getting the ball in Isaiah Thomas's hand um, so he can make plays for our team. If that was him scoring or, um, you know, creating shots for, for players on our team and um, just one stop at a time, being solid on a defensive end, trying not to foul those guys. And it's hard. They're very good players, but I feel like our guys did a great job tonight, especially Marcus Smart. Um, he made some really big plays for our team. Jared Weiss, CLNS Radio. Avery, Brad was making subs to try to keep you on the floor whenever Butler was on the floor and vice versa. You held him to one free throw tonight. Butler even said that he lost the matchup against you. And Did you feel like you really won this matchup and really won the series there? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make it hard on him. Like I said, Butler's a very good player. And um, my job for our team is, you know, to go out there and defend, try not to foul and um, make the player work for every shot. Uh, make them work on both ends of the floor, and that's what I tried to do tonight. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald, uh, for both you guys. Al seemed to have a hand in just about every single play down the stretch. Can you talk about how he just sort of tied things together for all of you? Um, I mean, that's what we need him to do. He's a hell of a player. Um, even the stat sheet doesn't explain how good of a player he is sometimes where he's not scoring or rebounding. He's, he's doing a lot of things to help out everybody else on this team, whether that be help side defense, whether that be making the right play on offense. Um, he's a complete basketball player. And when he plays like he did tonight, especially in the second half, um, nine times out of 10, we usually win those games. Uh, Avery, Paul Flannery, SB Nation. You've been here the longest. You've been with this team. What have you guys learned about yourselves over this last couple of games, going down 0-2 and then coming back to where you are at this at this point right now? I mean, it's kind of been a story of our team, um, being able to fight through adversity. Um, no matter what we go through, um, we're able to over, overcome it. And I think it's a group of guys, um, our coaching staff, we believe. Um, we believe in one another. And um, I said it earlier. Um, we, we went to Chicago knowing that we were going to win those games, not hoping. Um, we knew that we were going to take, take two games and come here and take care of home. And, and now it's our job to continue to, um, you know, play the same way and um, finish the sh series in Chicago. Isaiah, Mark D'Amico, Celtics.com. You touched on not getting caught up in the shooting percentages, not just you, but the entire team. What's the key to battling through a poor shooting night and still staying in the game and then eventually grabbing the win? Um, I mean, if you're taking the right shots, um, you can't be mad at missing. Um, I mean, you could be a little frustrated with yourself, but if you're taking the right shots and the shots you usually take and you usually make and then you're not making them, all of us, this whole group remains confident in everybody from, from the first guy to the last guy. So we, we put that confidence in the next player to keep shooting. And our coaching staff does that as well. And one thing about playoff basketball, I mean, shots not falling, you got to figure out a way to win. And tonight we did that. Um, we held our head on the defensive end, and, and, it, and it got us to win. Sherrod Blakely, Comcast Sportsnet. Uh, you guys have been just really 
establishing different mile markers all season long, finishing tops in the East, having a top seed. Now you have a chance to close out a team for the first time as a group. Avery, you've been in this situation before. What do you relay to your teammates to let them really fully understand just what this opportunity is about? I think just staying calm. That's the, that's the main thing. We can't go into this game thinking that we have it won. Uh, we have to be mature about the situation and continue to play the same way that we played over these past three games. And that's um, hard on both ends of the floor and continue to share the ball and execute our game plan. Avery, you're the guy that's known for defense, but how do you rate Isaiah's efforts on the those two possessions he had? Uh, Jimmy Butler in the flat on the. I'm first the team, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> all defense. I mean, we and, always and, say and it and in the locker room. The closeout on Cannon after that. Yeah, he, I mean, he's underrated. Um, he has to be one of the better um, guys. Don't hype me. Don't hype me. No, no I mean, it's true. underrated. They say for I'm we the worst about defender in the, in the league. So uh, <laughs> he did I'm a fine with being the worst defender. I'm cool. He did a great job tonight. Um, as you can see, our game plan is working. We're switching everything, and Isaiah's being solid, and we're we're talking and helping each other out. So our defense is looking great.